The Cowboys and the Falcons passed all day long against this Bucks secondary, and Tampa Bay is expecting the same strategy today. Probably pushing the ball down the field a little bit more. You know, uh, the rest of it looks just like Sean's offense, but uh, there, there are some balls that go way down the field and uh, with his arm um, off the play action passes that you have to be ready for. Uh, they got they got a bunch of receivers that can do a lot of things. Uh, get open really well, catch the ball, uh, yards out the catch. Uh, they got good, good playmakers and they got a great quarterback. So uh, we know they're going to throw the ball a lot, but uh, we prepare for it. Everything about this week is challenging. Um, Really good defense, really good offense. We got a long ways to travel. Um, it's a big game for both of us. Yeah, we got to head out to Simeon Rice now for his take in this one. Sim, I, I know it's early in the season, but we're thinking in the back of our heads, these two squads might see each other down the road in the postseason. What kind of litmus test is this for the Bucks, and what do you need to see from Tampa Bay today? Well, it's a bevy of things that's going to go on in the game because you got a team and two teams in these teams on both different coasts that's the exact mirror image of each other. Mm -hmm. So this is a great test for this team. And the thing that makes this so different and unique for the Rams is they're facing themselves just similar to what Tampa did last year with the mm -hmm. upgrade. They got an upgraded quarterback that has galvanized these men, and they really, really think they can really get it done this year. They felt like they were one piece away, so here they are now. And here uh, we are as, as the Buccaneers they entering into this game with a sense of urgency of a little payback. So this is going to be an exciting game. All things are going to be <laughs> off the table. Anything can happen, but I really see the Rams really uh, dominating and because this is a home game for them too, to send them the message. And it's good for both teams to, as a character building moving forward, and whatever ha comes out of it. I was going to ask you, I mean, are all losses created equally? I mean, it, what happens if, if they do lose the Buccaneers? No, all, all, again, all losses aren't made equal. Uh, if they do lose, this is a comp. You, they're not, no one's going to run shot through the NFL and go undefeated. You see that. In the past, it's only one team that's done that. Oftentimes, teams that do that, you want teams to start getting hot later. So this is a great character builder to sure up what they have going on in the secondary if they are to, uh, to lose this game. They, they, have, they understand the, the exposure they are these vulnerabilities and it's time to kind of like shore them up. Mm -hmm. That's a great point. And, 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 and thank you so much, Tim. Ryan, this is a battle a between two I people. <laughs> That's a fantastic <laughs> point I made. I Tr it. Tremendous point, I Ryan. Love it. I and, love and it. You know what? Look, we, we need some more <laughs> sim love, right? Yes, we do.